how are you? This is Fridia and since it's the month of October, I thought I would do maybe a few tutorials throughout the month of some makeup tutorial ideas that you can do for the special occasion called Halloween. You might already have your costume picked out or you might not and hopefully these uh, makeup tutorials will help you out. And so today I thought I would do the iconic Edie Sedwick. She was the muse for Andy Warhol and she appeared in a few of his films and I've always wanted to try it out and I'm glad I get to try it out here with you guys. So let's get started. I was at Urban Outfitters the other day and I saw that they had this e.l.f. palette for $5 and I thought it would be perfect for trying out different um, Halloween makeup ideas. So I'm going to try to be using as much as I can from this palette. If not, I'll be using whatever I have at home, but I really didn't buy anything new. This is the only thing that I got. So, I think it's pretty easy. I'm sure you can do it too. Let's get started. Alright, so on my face I have already applied some foundation and I actually try to go a light shader but I didn't want to buy anything extra so it's just kind of a sample that I got before that I didn't use and it's just a tad bit lighter. You can't really tell actually but I mean she, she just had really really pale skin. I'm sure if you go with your normal foundation you should be fine. So I'm just going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and this is the non-glittery one, called, it's the original. If you don't have a primer, uh, just using your foundation over your eyelids should be fine. You just want to have the color stay while you're out all night or at a party or something. So, on your lids, oh, on the palette. We don't have any names or numbers or anything, but I'm actually going to start off with the white, like off-white peachy kind of color, and we're just going to apply it all over our eyelids. And I'm just going to apply it all over my lids, under my eyebrow, just a really big circle right there, like so. So next I'm just using a eyeliner pencil, and this is my Laura Messier in Black Extreme. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw the lines on your eyelids. And the way that she did it was actually she would go over her eye socket, kind of into a mountain kind of shape, and then go out, but then wing back out like this. So I'm just going to lightly draw it on with the pencil, and over it I'm going to add the eyeshadow and I'm going to buff that out. So look straight into the mirror and see where your crease is and go a little bit above your crease and you draw a line. And again, it can be... You're drawing it really lightly. And just take little strokes. And the line can actually go all the way down to your nose, like so. Find that out. And so you're gonna go down, but then you're gonna wing it out. Alright, once you have that written in, you're gonna take your pencil brush, and I'm going to use this dark black color that's in the corner, and you're just gonna go over the line itself. Just tracing it over. Then I'm gonna take my small buffer brush and I'm just gonna lightly buff it through just to soften the lines of it. Alright, so next we're gonna move on to the eyeliner and I'm gonna be using my Bobbi Brown uh, Black Ink Gel Liner with my Sephora eyeliner brush. And if you don't have the gel liner, feel free to use any type of liquid liner that you have lying around. I just think that um, liquid liner will be easier to do when you're going to wing it out rather than using a pencil. So let's do this. Alright, so you're going to line your eye the same way that you would any other eye when you're doing a cat eye. But at the end, you're just kind of wing it out. It's actually not going to go straight out, you're going to kind of wing it up. It's kind of 
like you're heading towards the same area that the line you put above your crease to. It's just heading there, but it, it actually doesn't touch. You can make this quite a wide eye line as well, so I'm just going to add a little bit more in it. Alright, so now we're going to move to the bottom of the eye, and we're going to do, um, you just need to lightly eyeline it, but you're going to line the bottom of the eye, and you actually can leave the front and the back a little off. The front is just going to come down a little, and the back end is just going to go out a little. The front, we're going to start from here. For the back, you're just gonna kind of go downwards. So there's a little space. So after you've lined the bottom of your eye, I'm just gonna add a few eyelashes just to the ends. After I drew the lashes, I'm just going to take my pencil brush one more time with the same black color and I'm just going to buff the middle part of the bottom eye line. Okay, moving on, I'm going to use a pearly white or an off-white type of pencil and this is just something that I had. Uh, I would have used something that was on the palette but it didn't actually have that type of color. So if you have white, that should be fine. I'm using kind of an off-white. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna add color into this area over here. And to this small little area right here, you're just gonna fill it in a little bit. Now after you've done that, I'm gonna move uh, over to the eyebrows. And she had really thick eyebrows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna choose some shades that match my eyebrow color and I'm gonna mix it in and draw my eyebrows in. And also the way that she would do her eyebrows are um, they would go down straight and then she'd actually wing it out a bit. So I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna add some concealer to the bottom of my eyes and just a little bit around my lips. Now the reason why I'm adding them around my lips are because she used to use just like a nudie color. She didn't use a lot of color color. So this way I'm just use I'm losing the outline of my lips and it'll just be easier for when I add the nude color on them. So before I add my eyelashes, I'm going to be using my Stay Matte for Rimmel powder and I'm just going to be adding it or applying it all over my face. Um, I want to do this before the eyelashes so that the eyelashes won't get all white. But in her photos, if you see, she's really, really pale. So I'm just adding a lot of powder using a really big brush and just adding it all over to my face. And she was very, very skinny. So I just wanted to add a little bit of bronzer uh, contour my face. So I'm going to use something that doesn't have any metallics in it. And the only one that I had here was the uh, chocolate bronzer that I had in my Face palette, so I'm just gonna take this color and just add it lightly right under my cheekbones so that I can get that definition. Now I'm going to slightly curl my lashes. And Edie was known to possibly pile at least two fake. Uh, eyelashes. So today I'm just gonna use what I have and this is what I probably got at Ulta which is the Ardell eyelashes in Glamour. 
So I'm just gonna apply my eyelashes. All right, so now that I've added my eyelashes on, I'm just gonna take my nude lipstick, which is NARS Belle de Jour, and I'm just going to apply it onto my lips. So when I went online to look for Edie Sedwick's videos and photos, her lips were normally nude color, but um, in the videos, I realized that she did have a, a slight lip gloss to it. So on top, I'm just gonna add a nudie tone lip gloss just to the bottom of my lips. Another thing you can do to make yourself more Edie Sedwick is if you have these really large costume-like earrings, you should use those because she loved them. And since I unfortunately do not have any, I am just going to use these because I found them in the back. So here's the Edie Sedwick look. What do you guys think? I think it was fairly easy, don't you? If you do try this look out, please send it to me, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, or something, I would love to see it. And hopefully you guys will try it out for Halloween, or even if you have like a 1960s party, this would be really easy and perfect to do. So this Edie Sedwick look is great for Halloween or for a 1960s party, but I thought maybe you just wanna glam it up a bit, maybe add a little bit of color or some shimmer to it. So I thought of using this uh, Urban Decay Heavy Metal glitter eyeliner that I had lying around and I'm going to add it just to the bottom of my eyes and just kind of give it a pop to the 1960s. So let's try it out. So I'm adding the glitter right under the black eyeliner that I added under my eye and I'm actually going pretty low but since you already have so much going on on top it doesn't seem like it's too much but if you add it, it already glams up the look. So there you go. Here's another way to make the look a little bit more festive and just add a little bit more color. I'm sure back in 1960s, if Edie could get her hands on one of these glitter eyeliners, she would have done it this way as well. If you guys have any other ideas, please comment them below and I would love to try them out. If not, I'm going to be coming out with another look soon, so stay tuned. Alright, thanks again for watching. I'll see you. Bye!